so it's raining out. And you know what that means. <laughs> It's wet. And that wetness is a metaphor. A metaphor for you being drenched in imagination. Take that as you will. So as we speak, wetness falls from the sky. And I swear that I saw somebody throw a quarter out their window. And I mean, I love money. It lets you buy happiness, right? Wait. Something like that. Take that how you will. There's always been a certain allure to rain to me. Maybe it's the way the street looks like melting paint on a canvas. Or maybe it's the thunder that comes with it. Or maybe it's the smell of rain. Or maybe, after it's rained, it's it's something about the accumulation. It's, it's the puddles, by golly, it's the puddles! There's always been this kind of allure to the rain that I've had. Maybe it's the lightning or the fact that if you get struck with it, you, you die. Or maybe it's the nice pitter-patter. The pitter-patter. It's, it's, it's the pitter-patter, that's what it is. In short, I just, rain is inspiring, and I was just dying to come outside. So be it the pitter-patter, or be it the money. I mean, I was just dying to go outside. Baron? Wait. Hi! Hi, Evan! Evan, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Would you care to sit down? Oh, I'd, I'd love to yeah, sit down. Alright, alright. So, ah. Oh. Well, this humongous raindrop just went down my face. I feel like I'm <laughs> crying now. Really? I think the coolest part about the rain is that they. Water has been everywhere and through everything. Always the same amount of water yeah. on Earth. Yeah, like that one? I think I saw that one in Alaska. Oh, really? Yeah, on my cruise. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, a polar bear was when, laughing at it. When, when were you out on a cruise? I wasn't. And that one was, was oh. through the urinary tract of a dinosaur? Ah! The thunder. The thunder. And that one was Mozart's final drink. And that one? That one was the last drop of water that streamed down Alexander the Great's face before he died. That's a car. That's a car. Oh, car coming! It's a wait, car! Wait, it's a car! No, the umbrella! That's better. It's warmer. You know what the ironic part is? No. You and I were stuck in the rain once. Got caught out without an umbrella. I've been caught in the rain exactly four times in my life. The first of which, this guy. It wasn't raining at first. We were no. out. We were walking along it's the actually, It was along a the road. pretty non overcast day, also known as a clear sky. <laughs> also it was 4th of July, actually. It was, it was Independence Day. For us, it was. Our independence from our dry clothes. Very true. Because we were very quickly not dry. We decided to walk out into a, into a nice field because we had a box of sparklers and a few fi Heck firecrackers yeah. that we wanted to light off. So just as we were going to light off the first firecracker, we we heard we heard that noise, that sweet sweet noise, the thunder. And that's when we noticed the quite fastly moving towards us clouds, exceptionally dark. Fear was awakened that day. It was birthing from us and coming to life right before our eyes. The, the fear. <laughs> and that's when we started to feel the first of those tantalizing tip taps of moist fairy fingertips. Raindrops. Rain. Gentle little, little hellos from the sky. But it was more like a on our face. The Weather Channel said that there was an inch of rain every 10 minutes. 10 minutes? That's how much rain there was. It was a monsoon of epic proportions. It was a mega-soon. Not to be confused with the very soon. <laughs> <laughs> we were soaked. Nothing was not wet. We were so wet that one might say that, is anything really wet? It just, it became the new dry, we were so wet. And at this point, it had actually affected the integrity of the cardboard box. You could see the holes that were being pressed through the box from the large-sized hail just protruding through the box, and we could see it denting. It looked like a small child with chicken pox. You could say that. <laughs> yeah. So we abandoned the box just like you'd abandon a small child with chicken pox. <laughs> and we just decided to make a run for it. Now this field was probably a quarter mile from where we were living. We had gone very far. It was just about a day's trip. It, it was an adventure. Our July 4th adventure. Uncle Sam was guiding us forth into the great beyond. So we were probably about a couple blocks from my house. Yeah, it was just maybe about six. Now there is the very soon monsoon striking us at this yes. time. So we can't see more than a few inches in front of our eyes. The refraction was just making it seem like the trees were upside down and and he was just running right next to me when really he... He was not there. He was gone. Gone. Sheltering underneath a tree. Which is a very stupid idea. Because trees can get struck by lightning. They are flammable and tall. Lightning likes yeah. both tall and flammable things. Much like me. You don't have to be faster than the lightning. You just have to be faster or 
in our case, shorter <laughs> than the tallest person in the room. That's how you avoid lightning, befriend all tall people. Yes, only tall people. Tall and flammable people. Uh. For me, it didn't even matter whether or not I was wearing glasses, it was blurry either way, and my glasses had fallen off, they slipped off of my face. So I was like looking around trying to find them desperately, but of course, I could not find them. I wish I had had me there. If I, yeah, if I, I had cool. been there. He too was waiting in the water. He was waiting, I was yes. waiting. <laughs> We're like the Dr. Seuss of YouTube. I was laying underneath the tree, sprawled out in what looked to be mud. I had kind of given up at that point. And it, it should also be noted that after copious amounts of rain, it really starts to reveal what's actually on a street. Like a used band-aid. Piece of gum. <sighs> but the point is, there are all sorts of random crap just floating around through the streams that are moving through the streets, and it was disturbing to say the least. So I, I, I sprawled out on the, on the front lawn of some random neighbor's house, and I waited for the rain gods to take me. Those rain gods that decided to take him were me. I grabbed him by the shoulders and I said, Evan. Baron? Evan. Baron? Evan? Baron? It's time to go. Okay. And after what seemed like, like ages, probably about a Probably about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah, maybe less. After ages, we made it back to the house. There, sitting before us on the on the front steps, were two neat little piles. Two piles. Of towels. Warm, cozy, and dry. Straight from the dryer. Alright, see you, man. Alright, bye! It's been fun! See you, man. Darren! I'm vlogging in the rain. Just vlogging in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> the thunder. The thunder.